Okay, so what's happening in Japan? The other day, apparently, three workers working in the nuclear reactor, three, were standing in water. Now, this water, go figure, they're standing water in the reactor after they dumped tons of water onto it over uh, more than a week, including salt water. Well, this water is very radioactive. How radioactive, you ask? 10,000 times the allowable limit. Think of it. You could be holding a pound or somebody could drop 10,000 pounds on you. 10,000 is a lot. Now, the other news of this is that they're thinking that there's possibly a breach in the conta containment uh, structure of this nuclear reactor. And that there is a meltdown taking place. Today in Japan, they were advising people in that uh, vicinity of this reactor to voluntarily evacuate. Why voluntarily? The reason is simple. Tokyo is 150 miles away. They don't want to create panic. Because can you imagine a major city under panic, under being evacuated? I mean, what would happen to Japan if Tokyo were to be so contaminated that people couldn't live there? Could that happen? I don't know, but I don't think scientists do either because they keep giving false, misleading information continually. All I know is that when the movie China Syndrome came out, they were talking about a meltdown that melts through the bottom of a containment, of a reactor, into the earth. Now, figure on this. This reactor is at the side of the ocean, right at the side. If it were to leak, melt down, and a large chunk of that molten radioactive material, whatever the heck it is, comes in contact with a big chunk of water, and there's rocks and all sorts of things, steam is building up, you could have an explosion. Then on top of that, there are other reactors immediately adjoining it. So you can't even get in there and put one up. I mean, who would want to go near it? So if you were to start having a meltdown with explosion, even Tokyo, 150 miles away, would become inhabitable. That would bring Japan to its knees. And I guarantee you that Japan Power and Electric Company, along with the governments, General Electric, anyone that's got a stake in this, is going to do anything and everything they can to cover it up, to keep things as calm as possible at the expense of people. Because after all, we are expandable. At least that's how I see it.